Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Regenesis by Death Wish Mods. Now I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this probably know more about Death Wish Mods than I do, but uh, just checking my history and it's set up in 2016 by a guy called Maxim in Canada. About 2020 kind of things went to the wall because of legislation in Canada and uh, they were then bought over by a company in Edinburgh, in Scotland. Uh, the same people that own Vaporoni. You've probably heard me mentioning them before. And this is the first new mod from the new Death Wish mods. Now you're going to be looking at £199 for this, or £200 basically, and it's a 21700 mechanical and it comes with an RDA as well. And uh, I put it this way, but I can't fit everything into the picture at once. It's that big a coffin, or a box, I should say. Uh, branding and whatnot, just to show you this round here. It's all going on. I've got to be careful that I don't show you any um, web addresses or anything like that which is on the back, so I'll not be showing you the back. But, open the box up, we have this. Uh, you get a couple of little cards here, covering mech safety, and this one is a little welcome, and you can actually go and register your device. We then have this little piece of paper here, lying on top, and inside you're going to find the mod, the RDA, and the screwdriver. Now the RDA I shall come back to in a little bit, uh, but this is in short, it's a 28mm RDA and uh, it's a dual post and it is, the airflow on this is buttery smooth. Uh, I, I'll be completely upfront, I mean this isn't my normal kind of thing, I have to admit, even though I do have plenty of mechs and I do have a couple of rowdy RDAs like this, but uh, this is, I'm quite impressed with this. Now this device is made from a billet of aluminium and right now you can see that I'm giving you the height which is about 85 millimeters. You will get a 30 millimeter RDA on here without any overhang. From here to here is just about 48 millimeters but from here to the firing button is about 40 millimeters and yes this is the, this whole bar down here is your firing button you can push on this anywhere and it will activate the device now obviously you've got the branding going on here with the you know regenesis on here and you've got the skulls and everything and the upside down cross going on uh, that's it's all well done uh, I, I really even though it's not my tastes shall we say it's really well done, and, and I do like this bit in the bottom, uh, and, and I'm very, very happy that I got this. Uh, so, yeah. Right, let's have a look inside. When it arrives, it is going to come with a little baggie full of spares. The door is held on by magnets. I mean, you're talking four, well, eight big beefy magnets in total. This door is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, I can do that, and it's bang on. You do have vent holes, bottom and the top of the door here. Uh, got a little Death Wish mod so you can stick your battery in there. We have a spring-loaded gold-plated contact on the bottom here. And uh, obviously with it being a hybrid top cap here, you know, you got to make sure that the, if you're using any other RDAs, make sure that your positive pin sticks out far enough. Uh, I would also say if when you're removing the battery or putting the battery in uh, with the Atty on, you don't necessarily have to do this, but it's just a good habit, I think, to get into, is I usually back the, the Atty off a couple of turns when I'm taking the battery out and putting a new one in. Uh, it's just habit from the old days. It wouldn't be a mech review if I didn't take this to bits to see what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So there's four flathead screws in here. There we go, let's see if this comes off. There we go, the sled is going to come out like that. We then have our firing bar on the back here, and uh, you can see, uh, do you know, as it always with a mech, I would strongly suggest that you get used to taking things like this to bits. That way, you know, you, you, want, you will get, this will get dirty over time, and you want to keep your contacts nice and clean. You're expecting me to take this off as well now, aren't you? I, I really don't want to, but okay, I will, I will. This is going to come off of here, oh yes you will. Here we go. Contact should be in the bottom. Oh, this is nicely done. 
if I pull this off, this should be spring, yeah, there we go. There's your spring-loaded contact on the bottom there as well. There's your spring, and this whole thing comes out of here like that. Everything back together, pop this contact back in as well. I should hold it in there. Get our four screws back in here. Now, the only thing I haven't done is if we take out the firing button here, uh, we can see that we have springs that uh, don't go away. Stay with me. There we've got the springs that are seated in there. And uh, yeah, that's that's how your switch is working there. But uh, these should come out as well. Um, now, there are spare springs in the pack, of course. But uh, this pop out of here. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Here's your other contact up there that's going to make contact with uh, this piece here. Uh, so it's, it's all straightforward. And that's the thing, even underneath i will say the paint of the finishing on this is uh i can't see any issues and the fact that it's just as good underneath as it is on the outside is a good sign in itself so i've dropped my screws back in there just now and uh, there we'll just drop this in here and then uh, screw the whole thing back together push this down because you will have a little bit of resistance from the springs there so if you're screwing the screws down and wondering why it's not catching it's because you're not pushing down on this piece here and there we go, that's, uh, well, I'll chuck a battery in here, obviously I'm going positive up on this, and uh, grab the door, fire this on, and that's me ready to go with the mech, and uh, we'll talk about how it fires, how it performs and all that jazz once we finish and go back up top, but we're going to look at the RDA now. So 28 millimeters in diameter, uh, as we said at the start, it's about 30 millimeters in height, not including the 510 and the drip tip. The positive pin does protrude there quite nicely. And uh, we have Regenesis on the bottom and we have Mark on there. And there's also some dog hair floating about in here. I apologize. Uh, the engravings and everything are, yeah, right into the metal there. And everything's good. Uh, we have the obviously we have the the matching upside down cross for the airflow, which is adjusted by just spinning this here. And I'm going to talk about airflow and all that jazz at the end as usual. Um, these holes here at the top, they just they're not actually open, uh, but it's I understand why they did it just so that it goes with the look the upside down cross bit. But uh, you will get lots of air through this. But uh, we have our drip tip here, 810 drip tip, you can see in there. Uh, can I get this off? Yes, there we go. Uh, you're looking at a, a dual post affair. We've got the gold plated and uh, the, this this deck holds about three and a half mil of juice. Uh, a metric shit ton of juice you can get in this when you're dripping away and uh, it also comes with a squonk pin as well because if you look just at the base there see you've got two little holes there pretty sure if you want to squonk with it you can as well I have not squonked with it because yeah I've just been using it on the mech um, this comes off here as well and there is also and can I get it out poke this out with my finger there we go, she's out. Uh, it's only held in by an O-ring, but uh, we've got a little Ultum reducer in here as well that sits on the top cap. And sorry if you see any juice in here, but uh, yeah, I just gave this a quick clean not five minutes ago. But there we go, there's your inner chamber. That back on here, sorry, forgot. It's an upside down cross, my mistake. And we'll pop this back on as well. Putting a dual coil build in here is, um, well, if you're used to dual coil builds, then you'll not find this any hassle. But it's, it's like a throwback to the old days. You know, you've got, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, I, I kind of cut my legs to length uh, and just, you know, have them sitting there like that. And then grab the other one and pop this on here. These are three millimeter inner diameter, fused Clapton's. Uh, and this build was coming out at about 0 0.2 ohm, which is probably a lot of people will frown and say that's too high for this kind of device. But uh, yeah, you got to remember, I'm over 50 years old and uh, it's more than enough for me. There's my coils there. Uh, I'll be honest, this is uh, my second build in here and I've cut these just a little bit too short. I find that actually you get a little bit better flavour if you have the coils further out and uh, yeah, closer to the air holes, but uh, it still works fine like this. Right, coils are pulsed, all the hotspots are out, 
and I'm just quenching these coils so that I don't burn my cotton. Listen, there's nothing uh, to, to be precious about when it comes to putting the cotton in here. Uh, it, it's just this wicks so well and holds so much juice that it's, um, yeah, if you're going, it's more for, I would say, for your high powered vapors or mech users, to be fair. Um, and all you need to make sure is that uh, you've got the uh, holes under here. You're caught, you know, you're going to get airflow underneath your coil. But I will say once again, uh, you know, when I offer my cap up to here, you can see where the coil is sitting in relation to the air holes. And when I pop this on here, you do have, uh, you know, tabs in here that are going to hold this in place. It just clicks into place. You can't spin it, but you can spin the airflow. And if I actually take that off of there, out you come, then you get a better idea how everything's working in there. And as I said, I'll get great flavour from this, but I know I'll get even better flavour if I just took the coils out just a tiny, tiny little bit more than what they are there. Screw the Atty down onto the mod, give it a little test fire, and there we go. We're good to go. Uh, right, that is the Regenesis by Deathwish Mods. And uh, let's go back up top, we'll have a vape, I'll let you know what the airflow is like and how I've been getting on with this device. So how has life been with the Regenesis? Uh, now, just to recap, uh, obviously this is not the OG um, Deathwish mods. It was bought over 2020 and this is their first Deathwish mods, if you like. Um, I don't know anything about the company beforehand. I can't get into that. I don't know anything about it. I can only tell you what this is like. Uh, and... I'll start top to bottom. I'll, I'll go with presentation. Presentation, I, as I said, this this is not my, you know, the, the branding and whatnot. It's not my taste, my cup of tea. I mean, I don't have a beard. Uh, but it's, I can't, I, I can't say anything about the way it's put together, the way it's screwed together, the finishing on it or anything like that. It's all done really, really well. Um, if you're taking it to bits, then um, I hate the flathead screws. That's that's a minor, minor quibble. But if you are taking it to bits, it's flathead screws. I, I do wish there were Phillips or Torx. Yeah, that's just me being a grumpy old fart. Um, but it is a mechanical. And you will. I would suggest that you learn how to take it to bits and keep the contacts clean as always. I mean, I could have unscrewed the top plate there as well. Could have taken that out with three screws. It's no big deal. You can strip this thing down to its bare bones. And once again, the fact that it's finished as well on the inside as it is the outside is a big thumbs up. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a vape. The reason I'm, I'm holding back and taking a vape is because... This is a tiny little shed and I'll end up filling this place, but what the hell. Full board here, all the air holes open. That's, uh, it came out 0 0.25. Uh, my last build was just under 0 0.2, but... Uh, Yeah, that's that's it's cloudy, but I'm going to I'm going to work through it. Um, the flavour from this RDA is 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 as good as any other twenty four mil, twenty five mil Atty I've ever had. Uh, it's actually really really good. Uh, I do like it when, for me personally, when I close it down, I can get quite a tight direct lung if I want, and. And even with those small holes, it's um, it's really, really smooth. It's it's an excellent vape. Um, and I know I'm repeating myself, but take the coils out a little bit closer to the air holes. Make sure the air holes are hitting the bottom half of the coil. There's nothing to get upset or worked up about. That It's just so easy to work with this RDA. And um, I really, really like the RDA a lot. It's good. Um, the, the only thing is, is it's old school in that it's dual coil 
and um, yeah, it, you've got the two holes only. It, it's you know, it's not like a three post or anything like that. Um, so yeah, there is a bit of um, if you've never built like that before, getting the coils to stay in place while you try to screw them down and they don't fall out, or if you put long legs through and you're bending them out the way, then yeah, for an, an a newbie to this it could be a bit of a pain to begin with but honestly just cut them to length it's so much easier uh, the actual mod itself uh, putting the battery in and out no problem once again I tend to back the Atty off when I'm putting the battery in and out um, it is spring loaded at the bottom you don't necessarily have to undo the Atty but it's just a habit I have the switch is it's on the stiffer side um, but it's it's kind of what you want. I, I mean, I've used, I mean, I've got 24 mil mix here as it is. And, and I've always found that the switches always tend to be in the stiffer side. I think it's just, a, I've always found over the years, the bigger the mech, the stiffer the switch. Uh, with dainty little 22 mil GP paps, Nemesis and all that from back in the day. It was always a soft throw in the switch. And then the bigger they got, the, the harder they were. And... This is a nice midpoint for me. I don't find it overly stiff, but uh, so overall, like the switch, like the atty, like the draw, I like the finishing. It's actually this is very comfortable to hold on to, and I can thumb fire, and I can hold it like that. It works both ways, no problem at all. Um, it's yeah, I'm really surprised <laughs> how much I like this. Um, but here we go. Yeah, for a second there, it wasn't performing as well as it should have been. And then I realized that, um, yeah, I done screwed the positive post just a little bit too much. When I was putting it back together, I hadn't nipped it up. So I wasn't getting a proper connection. But now, yeah, it's, it's as rowdy as it should be. And you'll notice I'm vaping like this. I've not talked it up with juice again. It holds three and a half mil of juice. Uh, it's just, yeah. Cons, I have to do the cons thing. Um, for me to be completely blunt, um, looks as in the styling of it and the, the skulls and the, the Grim Reaper and all that kind of stuff. Look at the way I dress. Obviously, it's not for me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's it's not my cup of tea. But the mod, the way it performs, the atty, the presentation, everything as a package is... If, if this is your kind of thing, then I think you would absolutely love it. I, I don't have any issues with it. Um, I do have one niggle, and that is this. The, I wish that lined up like that. It's just when I tighten it right down, it's just off a ball here. Uh, and obviously that's going to depend on your batteries and so on, because not all batteries are the same length. They're not, uh, even though they should be. But, um, you know, it's just off a tiny little bit, and that bugs me. Um, the only other thing is when you're turning the, the AFC, uh, it does get a bit juicy, and see how it's... You see that's got juice in it there? it's you, you can't avoid that you really can't but it's it's just something i thought i would mention uh it's not like it leaks or anything like that i have no juice coming out of it and leaking it's um it's very good the atty is the winner for me i love the atty um but that's it the Regenesis by Deathwish Mods. If you're interested in buying this, I think uh, you can go along to Vaporoni, uh, the shop that is owned by the man himself behind the company. I think Evolution Vaping will have it as well. And uh, once again, it's about £200. Uh, but that is it for the Regenesis. I would just like to thank my fellow Pfeiffer uh, for uh, doing the this on the bottom and putting my name on the atty as well it was much appreciated and i have loved using this device there will be other reviews if uh, you see anybody else reviewing this and they don't take it to bits for you complain but that's it we'll catch you soon guys
Bye for now.